And participants in the Vatican Synod on Synodality consider the theme of the church as a mission, and it features a call to all who are baptized. EWTN Vatican News correspondent Colin Flynn has more. At this morning's Mass in St. Peter's Basilica, the main celebrant warned the devil is launching an attack to divide the church. Cardinal Fridulin Ambongo Besonga from the Democratic Republic of Congo urged participants to fight back using the weapons of synodality, adding that requires unity, prayer and listening to each other. The martyrs and believers who During the second week of the Synod, participants sit and discuss important issues to the Church. For instance, this morning Cardinal Jean-Claude Hollerich, Relator General of the Synod, introduced the second part of the working document of the Assembly, entitled Instrumentum Laboris, re-emphasizing the theme of the Synod. Our theme is, therefore, mission. It has been said very clearly at all levels of the synodal process that the synodal church is a church sent out in mission. The Lord's command given to the apostles extends to all members of our apostolic church. As we've seen throughout the month so far, the synod is a place for the global church to meet but it's also a rare opportunity to bring together those who do not see eye to eye on points of faith and can be quite polarizing figures. It is not easy process, but uh, this listening I think is some, some key point. Uh, and after what we have in the church, uh, that we not create something new. A church is existing 2,000 two years. So this solidarity was practiced in different way. For example, Father James Martin, a strong LGBT advocate in the Catholic Church, and Cardinal Gerard Muller, who strongly supports traditional values, posed for a picture together and gifted each other copies of their books. While those moments were public, the Pillar News outlet reported this morning that deliberations of participants at the Synod may not be private. The publication says it was able to access information via an uncensored server available to anyone with the correct web address without any need for a password. Vatican spokesman Matteo Bruni said he was checking into the report. This week saw a break in the Synod schedule and a chance for the group to attend an afternoon pilgrimage to the catacombs of St. Sebastian, known for temporarily housing the relics of St. Peter and Paul, as well as to the catacombs of St. Callistos and St. Domitilla. It was a chance for the group to mix and mingle outside of the formal setting of the hall. The catacombs were majorly places from the of almost 3, 000, uh, 2,000 years ago and beyond, where Christians have gone to find all those who died in, um, in, uh, as martyrs, different aspects of the, 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 the catacombs are actually uh, archives of, let me call it the history of the church, in terms of who were buried there. Esta mattina per pregare with the outbreak of war in the Holy Land, on Thursday morning the Synod opened with prayers for peace, led by the head of the Chaldean Catholic Patriarch of Baghdad. The participants prayed for all those suffering from violence and war, especially in the Holy Land. The president of the Focalar movement, Margaret Karam, a Palestinian Catholic, invited prayers for peace. Lord, we pray to you for the Holy Land, for the people of Israel and Palestine who are under the grip of unprecedented violence, for the victims, especially the children, for the wounded, for those held hostage, for the missing and their families. In Rome, Colm Flynn, EWTN News Nightly.